Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. And this room is gonna be awesome. Well, I, I, I'm stuck in here because I've been bumped, so I can't be bumped again, right? Right. So I just bumped myself into the master bedroom, securing it for myself. Nice. Good job. Kind of a strange uh, Next up. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. me, I guess. So I just kick a door with a cone? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I think I'm the prettiest one here. Erica, um, she's pretty nice. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know. She, she likes stuff. Makeup girl. You know, I'd like to stick my finger in as far as I could go just to see how long it took me to hit skin. There's just one room. I heard you guys talking. There's just the one. There's Correct. Something. Well, I guess I'll just do that one then. Uh, the challenge wasn't like super hard or anything, so I wasn't really upset about it. Well, I do believe there is one room left that could be bumped if you prefer. Well, I don't really want to like hurt anybody's feelings or anything, so I'll just go in here. Mm. You know, I spread some cream cheese on a bagel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I threw it and it stuck on the wall. I didn't realize how much fun that was. So. Oh, nice. Who's trying to say? Um, Sims, isn't it? No. Uh, oh, Bella. Yeah. Erica, your room is actually the cubby in here. I'm a little disappointed that my room was so tiny, but but then, I mean, I figured I could decorate it because that's what I do anyway, so I guess it's not a big deal. Well, I guess there's wrapping paper. I could, like, put it on the walls and, oh, there's ribbons and things. I could, I could just decorate it. It'll look a lot bigger after I'm done decorating. She's got a tiny room that has a ceiling about this high. But I've got lots of bows, so I can make it really pretty. I got bows and little ribbons and things, don't Oh, you're a positive one, okay. Yeah. Like, all she talks about is, oh, it's okay, I have ribbons and bows. It's okay, oh, I have a boyfriend, but, you know, he lives back in college, and ah. Uh, it's like, uh, read a book, please. Just, you know, spare me, spare me, please. It's kind of weird seeing seeing all the people. We met everyone, it was kind of overwhelming, especially, you know, not really used to Big groups. Thomas the wee blunt, he's so cute. He must be like 12, but he's lovely. I think he's gorgeous. Now I want to remind you, any room you take on the second floor, you would have to bump a fellow housemate. Oh. There are other options though, if you're willing to explore for them. Well, what are the other options? Well, you'll need to explore for them. Okay. Hey, Thomas, he's smart. The guy knows what he's doing. Hey. Yeah, You can take my room. Oh, which, which, which one of yours? I mean, I bumped somebody, so I feel kind of bad about it. And I don't. I'm ready to enter into the whole chaotic mash again. I had to bump. Um, oh, what was her name? Um, oh, Salem. Um, which, which I felt bad about, but she said like she wanted to be bumped, so it, you know, I guess it worked out well. <laughs> okay, well, yeah. If that's all right with you, I mean. Yeah, I want the adventure. Okay, yeah, yeah. sure. I'll, yeah, I'll take this one. He's kind of staying back. Not really. Uh, Getting involved with anything, I, I can see. I see where he's going. Okay, Salem, it's your turn then. I'm claustrophobic. I think. There's also one other cone. There's a there's a cone on the shelf. I know, in the bookcase. Yeah, you're supposed to. That's the probably the master bedroom where you actually sleep on the shelf. That should correspond to the couches. Huh. But there's actually one last one that nobody has yet found. So I can look around. <laughs> there's the one other cone outside in the kennel. The they want a kennel? kennel? Are there dogs here? No, nope, never were. Oh, it's probably like a euphemism for something. You want to go down the steps into the grass to find it. I'm really glad I didn't have sleep in the kennel. That would really been bad because I mean, where would I have blow dried my hair? You know, it's it's a it's all a game. I didn't take it too seriously. I got. I got sent to the kennel, <laughs> but I don't care. I love being outside. I mean, that's perfect for me. It'll work. It's gonna take me some meditation and some work to like center myself and come from a loving place. How's it look? It's great. great. I love it. It's a kennel. Well, so, so it's not really what we thought about it. I mean, I'll need a pad. One last selection to be made. <laughs> My turn. Apparently, that's one of the things we have to do to stay in the house. Have a challenge. Then at the end, right, it was this this whole kind of plot twist thing. As it were, Bob, for going last, you actually have a little bit of a different set of rules to play by. You can bump anyone else one additional time. No! And oh. that person uh, no, that's will automatically get the cap. Oh, it's this kind of show. So uh, when they 
when they gave that guy the choice of any room he wanted, it was pretty, you know, pretty predictable, I, I thought. I, I almost got the master bedroom, but then, you know, they, they kind of switched the rules on us. Well, I haven't seen any of the rooms upstairs, but I really like that room over there. Oh, so. man. You know, I ended up in the living room, which, you know, I mean, I guess it's okay. Did you, did you pick yeah, that up? man. Hey, you know, that couch is comfortable. I slept on that. You know, I mean, I guess it's okay. Like, cause you know, my strategy is kind of like, like I figure they're trying to make us all as miserable as possible. So if every time like something happens, I can just say, hey, you know, I can live with that, you know, cause it's only 56 days, you know, then I'll be able to get through it when, when other people aren't getting through it. Cause, cause I'll be getting through it and they won't. Good. I'll be back later on with some more stuff for you and uh, some more fun. Nice to meet y'all. Have fun playing out the rules. So where do I change? For the time being, um, the fronts that they're showing seem, seem um, to be real. It's funny. You know, when I say, I mean, when I was talking about the Hitler thing, I don't condone what Hitler did. That's retarded. That's ridiculous to say that you condone what Hitler did, but man, he sure made a name for himself. <laughs>